that my values, the things I need for myself, the things that I decide, I decide, I decide, are mine, shall be so. Yes, inside of you, inside of me, we have the divine, divine inner knowing of all that we truly, truly feel, feel. Ask yourself these bold questions, my love. Because when you start challenging the way you think, when you start thinking and being curious about your possibilities, and you start getting a taste of your desires that you have in your soul, you allow yourself to feel what truly being alive is. Worthy, yeah, 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 yeah. Shimmer, shimmer. <laughs> My loves, how are you? I know, I'm not behaving. Why should I? I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be here with you and you. <laughs> how are you? I hope you're taking care of yourselves. Yes, you should, worthy woman. That's what we're here to do. Aren't we, darlings? Live or desires. Because we deserve it. Say it with me. I meaning you, <laughs> and you, I deserve, say it with me, I deserve all that I decide that I need for myself. I show up feeling and believing and moving forward, knowing that my values, the things I need for myself, the things that I decide, I decide, I decide, are mine, shall be so. Yes, inside of you, inside of me, we have the divine, divine inner knowing of all that we truly, truly feel, feel, feel. We need to move ourselves forward. If you plant that love in your heart for yourself, if you fall in love with your desires, you walk them out with confidence, knowing that only you, you and only you can drive yourself into the destination, into the destination of your deep secret desires. And we're here for that, always and forever. <laughs> we are worthy, yeah, 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 shiver, shiver. <laughs> Oh, my love, my love, my love, my love, my love. We're talking about self-doubt today. It comes up for many of my clients and even in myself, even in myself, my love, because you know how it is, honey. We don't just wake up coming into our understanding of who we are and having all the confidence and joy in the world. Life is not like that, honey, unless you're living in some kind of incubator <laughs> on some other planet. Life doesn't work like that. So I wanted to tell you a story because I know many of you have been telling me all last week, all this week, about your own personal journeys and how you are navigating your desires. Mm -hmm. You're navigating speaking in and living in a space of confidence, of, of, of nurturing yourself, of holding yourself in a safe, loving space so you feel you feel empowered and bold to move forward, self-doubt. Three things we're going to hit it. How it shows up for you when you doubt yourself in your life, in your day-to-day -day life. Why it's holding you back, having the self-doubt, not believing you can get there, not having the confidence to say what you want and get what you need. Let's say it again. Why it's holding you back. You're not being able to have the confidence to say what you need, what you want, and get it. Cause is yours. <laughs> and how do you overcome self-doubt? How do you overcome this, my loves? You know, and I know it is an untaught, an untaught art of believing in yourself and having the confidence to know the unknown, to feel and to believe and honor those feelings and move forward with it. So how does it show up in your life, my love? For me, I'll tell you the story. So when I was living in my country, my home country, you know, I'm from the islands, baby, and St. Kitts, I wanted to move to the U.S. This was years and years ago. I wanted to move to the U.S. I had a, I had a delicious job. 
I was working in the equivalent of, say, the Fed, the Federal Reserve, the equivalent back home. Cushy job and all that stuff, loving it, loving it. But inside of me, I always, always, always knew I wanted more. Everybody in my circle, immediate circle, they were comfortable in their jobs. They were helping their parents because that's what you do. You help your parents out financially. You know how it is. We all grow up differently, honey, unless you got some arm. Inheritance, congratulations. I love that for you. No inheritance here, darling. So I was comfortable, had a job, had the car, happy, had a boyfriend and all that stuff, but I wanted more. And every person that I mentioned to in my family, except maybe two or three, so my family was big, by the way, 26 people, hello. <laughs> they would try to dissuade me, discourage me. But you know, things are so good, you're doing so well, you're getting promoted, why don't you stay? And then by me asking all these people for their um, feedback about what I needed for myself, I started to talk myself out of what I had been dreaming about, moving to New York, going to university, traveling, witnessing other cultures, you know, traveling, tasting different foods, going to art galleries, maybe doing some um, theater, which I eventually did when I went to university. I was talking myself out of doing all these things that I dreamt about doing for myself. And I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why am I encouraging myself to not follow the dreams that I know have been with me all my life? Well, my adult-ish life. Why am I talking myself out of what I feel I need, what's pulling me forward? I, in my head, with all these talk, yibbity yak, you know, we talk about negative talks, right? We talk ourselves out and we talk ourselves out and encourage the company of negative thoughts. We encourage the company of self-doubt to encourage us to stay small encourage us to be in the little box or be the person that everybody sees us being and can tolerate for us to be in their eyes. So here I was talking myself up, when do I about to go to New York? Don't go to university. You really need it. You have a good job. And you know that theater dream or music dream or whatever, you can always travel to New York and you have that experience. You don't need to go move, <laughs> move to New York. My loves, here's the thing. Even though I asked all these people whom I trusted about their opinions and they gave me their opinions and they told me how New York is a bad city. There's got so much crime in New York. And who do you know in New York? My family was in New York. But still, it's a difference when you visit and when you live there. In the end, guess what happened? In the end, I had to sit with myself and I had to ask myself the truth. How do you feel about not doing the thing that your heart is calling you to do. My heart was calling me to move to New York. Next, how do I feel if I were to stay where my head cognitively was telling me, thinking I should stay in St. Kitts, working at the Federal Reserve Equivalent Bank, and I weighed those two things. I weighed those two things, and the next thing I asked myself, when have you betrayed yourself and not followed your sweet divine intuition? When have you betrayed yourself and not follow your divine intuition? I asked myself that. Next, I asked myself. And when you did that, what happened for you in your life? What happened when you betrayed your intuition? I got the answers, my love. I got the answers that tell me what shows up when I don't follow and trust and I keep doubting myself, I become very, very miserable, unhappy, unsatisfied. Hmm? I don't feel in my normal state of being productive, of being motivated to do the thing that I'm doing. I rob myself when I follow here more than I follow my heart. So what I did in the end, my love, I grounded myself in the belief that I deserved that bold dream. I did. Grounded myself in the belief, meaning if I were to stay where I was, that would not be my life that I would be living. No. 
That would be somebody else's version of my life. Next, if I were to stay where I was living, hey, hey, I would not be in a state of joy, in a state of feeling alive. Don't get me wrong, honey. I was living comfortable. But there's a difference with being content. I mean, you just, you know, you're taking what you're getting and you ain't, you're not complaining. There's a difference with being content and being alive with, ooh, fire and energy and excitement and look forward, looking forward for every day and joyful. Two different things, my love. I was not going to settle for content when I joy was waiting for me in his open arms in her open arms that was me if I decided that I was worthy of my desires so joy or success or contentment or doing all right which one was I going to choose honey you know what that was <laughs> I said when Come on in here and live the life that you believe and feel is yours to live. Yours to live. Because nobody, nobody and no one can live a life for you but you. And that's why we've got to sometimes and most times when it comes to our desires, that's your heart speaking. It's not up here, my loves. It's your heart telling you and pulling you forward into believing only what you can believe, into feeling only what you can feel because nobody and no one can live your life but you. Nobody and no one knows how you feel inside of you. So the question that I have for you when you're trying to overcome self-doubt is this. Who do your emotions belong to? Hmm? Let's say it again. Who do your emotions belong to? Let's say it again. Let's say it again. Who do your emotions belong to? That's the first question. Next question. How do you feel? How do you feel inside when you think about not doing the thing that she would love to do. How do you feel? Not what you think. How do you feel? Let your heart sing through. Let your heart sing through. Next, my love. And what has happened? What has kept you from doing the thing that you would love to do most? What is keeping you from doing that? And here's where you uncover and you tell yourself the real truth, my loves. You tell yourself the real truth. When I say, what do you need to uncover that's keeping you from living your truth? That's where you show up and you tell your whole truth to yourself. And you feel what's showing up for you when you reveal your truth to yourself. Because my love, unless we are ready to become intimately familiar with all our parts, all the things that make us feel happy, joyful, anxious, sad, lonely, bitter, resentful, unless we find space in ourselves to hold all of that in ourselves, to be vulnerable with ourselves, to fall in love with all our parts, we will hold ourselves back from even imagining, from even believing that we can make our dreams come true, that we hold the power to make that bold decision that says, I, only me, can take myself to where I need to go in this life that is mine. I seek no permission. You really don't, my love. As long as you connect with who you truly desire to be, who you know you are, and who you are willing to love forever, what anybody says about you and your dreams and your goals and what you should do and where you should live, hey, hey, come on in here, it's lovely to see you. Whatever anybody thinks about your dreams, it just falls away because you decide. You show up for yourself and you say, what do I need for me? What do I truly and deeply desire for me? And in that asking of yourself, things are going to show up for you. 
Oh, yes, honey. It does for all of us. Because when you fall in love and you become intimately familiar, you unpack, unwrap all the layers of yourself that keeps you feeling safe, protected, that keeps you blaming yourself for not following your dreams. And let me tell you something. You know when we have that dream and we don't follow through, we don't follow through with that dream because we say, oh no, I can't do it. And then you end up blaming yourself a couple of years later for not following through. That blame is just keeping you company, keeping you company until you can handle, until you are ready, until you are ready and willing to stop running from the feelings that you need to uncover within yourself and once you find the courage and the strength, and that's what I help my clients with, to unwrap all your feelings and live with them and see the information, the information that they will give you, you will see, ah, self-doubt was really just keeping me company. Me not trusting myself was keeping me company until I found the courage to allow myself to honor the feelings as being valid that I have. Again, ask yourself this. Your emotions, who do they belong to? Your desires, who do they belong to? What do you control? Answer these questions of yourself, my love. And you go all the way and you tell yourself the truth, crystal clear truth. And the last question you ask yourself, how would I feel? How would I feel? It is a true killer. You said it. Self-doubt is a true killer. How would I feel if I were to live this bold dream of being happy, of saying what I want when I want and going after what I need, not being attached to the absolute it must happen in this order of the life, the plan, but being so in love with your opening your mind to your greatest possibilities, because that's what dreams are about. The fact that you can open yourself up to more possibilities for yourself. It's not following the path that you think you have to flow on, especially if you're an entrepreneur, like, hey, I am, or you're an employee, you're in a business, you work for a company. It doesn't work like this. That's not how life works. Life is like this. There's always going to be something that challenges us and puts us off track. That's what we got to remember. That's what we got to tap into. Your dreams matter. What you need for yourself matter. And who decides that? Who defines that? You. Nobody else but you, my loves. That's what I help my clients with. It's scary making powerful decisions. It's scary. Oh, my God. It's breathtakingly scary to change all the things that you have done before and follow a new path. Hey, hey, come on in here. Whether it's a new job, whether it's getting rid of a job, whether it's starting your business, and nobody sees your dream but you. If you hold that dream close to your heart and you walk it out and you believe and you develop the courage, the skill of self-love, the skill of self-belief that you deserve what you decide you deserve, Oh, my loves, you realize that the only thing holding you back is that one powerful decision maker. That is you. You have that gift, my love. You have that gift and you have that space inside of yourself. If you decide, if you give yourself permission to go first and welcome yourself into your arms, knowing that you got you, you got your own back. <laughs> Hell yes, that's what we gotta say to ourselves. Hell yes, I deserve this dream, I deserve these desires, and I'm gonna go, go, go. That's right, that's what's up. <laughs> you give yourself that gift, you said it. You said it, you give yourself that gift of your bold dreams. No explanation to anybody else, because most of the times, other people are going to give you their interpretation of your life, or they're going to share their fears that keeps them small, that keeps them scared, that they use to protect themselves, and they don't live. That's what I said. Let's go. <laughs> you said it. Let's go, baby. We got one precious life, and we don't need any proof. You are your proof. Did you know that? 
You and me, we are, are, are already our proof. The fact that we're breathing, we're taking ourselves through. This is life we're showing up every day for ourselves. That's the proof right there. So my loves, that's what I did. I left St. Kitts. I said, yeah, I'm going to follow my dreams because that dream is for me. And then I set another dream and I followed it. And then I set another dream and I followed it. Why? Because I had already said, when? Let's go. As you just said, did. pray. I'm going to keep it praying. I already said, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And don't get me wrong, my loves. This is continuous, lifelong loving. Lifelong reconnecting with your inner voice. Reconnecting with your soul. And believing that only you can deliver all your dreams to yourself. No explanations needed. No consultations needed from anybody. You got you. <laughs> Say it with me. You got you. Again, you got you. You got to feel it, my love. A lot of us stay inside our head, stay inside our head, and we talk ourselves out of things. We bring up all these scenarios of what could go wrong. Oh, this is going to fall apart. My life is going to end if I change it. If I don't stay on this track that I planned for myself, oh, it's going to fall away, and all these bad things are going to happen. Here's what I say to you when that happens for you. Here's what I say to you. We pull it back. We pull it back. We say, what is really your reality? Come back to reality. What is your reality? That the world is falling apart? Yes, you said it. What is your reality? Is all these things in your yippee yap mind really happening? Or is that you using your negative thoughts for company to keep you safe, to keep you small, to keep you where you are, not growing, being the same, not satisfying your desires? Ask yourself these bold questions, my love. Because when you start challenging the way you think, when you start thinking and being curious about your possibilities, and you start getting a taste of your desires that you have in your soul, you allow yourself to feel what truly being alive is. My loves, we're not here to be content. Maybe some of you are. But from what I'm hearing from my clients and the women I interact with, we want it all, baby. Yeah, stagnation, you said it. We want it all. It doesn't matter if your mother didn't do this. It doesn't matter if your sister and your cousin, your boyfriend, your, all these people didn't, never did these things. And you have all these powerful, outlandish, extravagant, outrageous dreams for yourself. They're yours. They matter. Go, 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 go. That's what I say, my love. <laughs> I hope this has helped you, my love. Self-doubt is a normal human experience. It's what we choose to do with that information that makes a difference in your life, in my life. Let's say it again. Self-doubt is normal, normal human condition. We doubt ourselves, but when it gets to the point where the yibbity yap overtakes what you know to be true, what you feel to be true, and what you need in your life, that's when you start, start to do the work, my love. Hey, how are you, my love? Come in here. Lovely to see you. That's when we tell ourselves the truth. Self-doubt is just keeping you company. Hmm? Say it again. All the people in YouTube, log it in. Log it in your heart, baby. Self-doubt is just keeping you company until you, until you decide you're going to do the work. Until you decide you're going to go in there and feel all the feelings that make you feel tingly, vulnerable, scared, maybe. When you feel and allow yourself to sit and learn and know yourself intimately, you realize, oh, that's just information. Fear is just information trying to protect me from all the things that I don't know what to do. But if I decide I can develop that muscle, that strength, that inner courage, and I train my body and my mind to move forward, and that's what I help my clients with, so that I, have, so that, so that I feel safe in making this decision, safe in carrying myself forward into the destination of my dreams that you deserve, that I know you deserve. You're telling me you want to open your laundry mat. You're telling me you want to have your own non profit You're telling me you want to have kids at 45. You're telling me all these things. You need a man in your life who, who really supports your dreams and helps you with this and that. My loves, go open that bakery. Nobody's stopping you but you. Nobody's holding you back but you. 
allow yourself to love on yourself by giving yourself your time, your energy, your heart, your dreams, your truth. Your truth, my loves. I'm so grateful you're all here. You know I'm here for you always and forever. When you're a healing coach, you know where to find me here on Instagram, on YouTube, on Facebook, on LinkedIn. Always here for you, my loves. I hope you're taking fantastic care of yourself. You'll have a gorgeous weekend. I'm not going to be live this Thursday, honey. My schedule is packed to the pack of that tack. <laughs> but I'll be back next Tuesday. I'm always here for you, my love. Send me a DM. Send me a, a comment below. Whatever questions you have, I'm here to support you. Because women, sisters of all races, hmm, it is my duty to show up, hold your hand, and to guide you in any way I can into becoming, into allowing yourself to become the woman you were meant to be. You're welcome. My Another mother, video sister. is waiting for you. Thank you so much for, for being here. Have a lovely day. Check it out. Bye. Check it out now. <laughs>